Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a automated farming, like, system. Where it's already taken care of for you. Now this is just farming, this is not like, mining and all that stuff. I'll do a separate video on that. So, just farming. What you're going to need is a granary. And that's going to be in the bronze age, basically. So you are going to need access to bronze ingots. And then, uh, another thing you guys want to pay attention to is whatever seed you're planting, make sure you have the corresponding fertilizer. See, you'll see this corn seed requires bone fertilizer. Not all seeds are the same. So, peanut is the same, but if you see this pumpkin seed, it requires ash fertilizer. And then, uh, this one has bone fertilizer that's required and they also have optimal temperature ranges that you gotta pay attention to so wherever you're building and depending on what seed you're planting make sure the temperature is right and you have the correct fertilizer you can see the temperature in the top right of, of the map right next to the compass they'll tell you the temperature so that's very important so in this scenario I am using cotton seeds so I am within the range and I am making compost because it requires compost just regular compost so I'm making the compost in the fertilizer bucket so what you want to do plant your your crops make sure you have one tribesman and I'll show you the settings that you're gonna need uh, go to work so you want to manage fields so you go to farm farm management and then you select the granary which is this right here this is what you you're gonna need so what you want to do is place your seeds in here place your compost in here and place your your watering buckets in here and then make sure you have the correct compost in here so that's how you set that up. Now, if you want to go uh, a little extra step, you can go into Craft Table Autoplay and select your fertilizer buckets, and then you can manually queue up the compost for her, and she will automatically start making the compost that you need. So I have that set up, so I don't have to worry about the compost. So what you want to do is when you have your farm set you want to select which crop so I, I held E and you can select which crop that will be planted here so in my case I'm doing cotton because cotton is very high demand so that is basically how you set up the whole automated system so make sure you have your granary your seeds your compost and your water in and that is how you set up the full cycle and then make sure you have the, the correct settings on your farmer make sure it's correct temperature make sure you have the correct compost you can see on the very uh, on the, the like stat screens it'll, it'll tell you how much compost uh, ash fertilizer and bone and stone fertilizer is in it and how much hydration it has so it's pretty much good on hydration when it rains it, it pretty much um, hydrates the whole farm anyways so make sure they're planted these farms are like planted outside take advantage of the hydration but yeah if not you can do this manually all you gotta do is put like this and this on your toolbar and you go up to it and you just sprinkle it by interacting and you can also water it with the canister I don't think we'll do oh yeah just like that that's how you do it manually so uh, you guys are gonna need a lot of clay to actually make the farm so if you can get a bunch of clay right here you can also get a bunch of clay all around here in the beginning area it's everywhere around the water so if you're trying to set up a farm in like the desert area probably gonna be really hot 
and you're gonna need some cooling down technology so you are gonna have to be in the Iron Age but this is what you're gonna need is a cooling table to place around your farm now if you're building up in the cold region you're probably gonna need uh, an air heater so this all depends on where you're you're setting up your farm you are probably gonna need these two as well but if you're just set up in a normal rainforest area with mild temperatures you don't need any of that stuff and that is it if you guys want to see other auto farming stuff let me know I'll have some videos up uploaded later on on like how to do auto like mining and stuff or even auto collecting f uh, clay so stay tuned you guys all take care peace